Jill White and I'm a Oxford workshop manager. I believe that no one should go to Fertility at night, so that's why I'm top clean growth from small scale farmers. Uh, I'm Stoke Newton. Um, so I'm Sarah Watson, I'm the Grow Project Manager for Oxfam. This is the first kind of outing that we're doing kind of publicly for this, so it's really exciting to see the kind of fruits of all your efforts over the last few weeks. I'm Andy, I'm a freelance photographer. Hi, my name's Lara Smallman. I became involved with Global Poverty Project because I share their vision of a world without extreme poverty within a generation, something we can all help achieve. There are currently 500 million farms in developing countries which are supporting a third of us. They need our help and our support. We're all going to um, this Hamden with Nick Clegg and this is a combination of um, some campaigning we've been doing for the last few months. So these postcards um, went out in both of our um, kind of main membership magazines, but they've also been distributed by the ambassadors um, at regional Oxfam events, and we've also done kind of online promotion of the action as well. And that's resulted in the latest figure today was seventeen and a half thousand people have taken action, which is great in such a short amount, uh, short amount of time. Hi, I'm Jane Payton. I'm an Oxfam school speaker and I've been to Zambia recently with Oxfam to see some of the work that they do. I've met some small scale farmers and I know what difference it makes to their lives and we can absolutely do more because there are plenty more farmers out there that need our help. I'm Dorothy Tice and I'm a co-optive member and a Global Poverty Project Ambassador and I'm part of the small scale farmer scheme run by the co-optive and the Global Poverty Project because I believe that really help and listen to small scale farmers and rather than using top down methods they listen to the people at grassroots level, understand what they want and use sustainable methods in order to provide the tools that they need. <laughs> I really hope he doesn't keep it because um, I want to take it. <laughs> Peppercorns, rice, lentils, kidney beans, muesli, spinach, sunflower seeds, cardamom seeds, split peas, <laughs> cinnamon <laughs> sticks, um, <laughs> rosemary. It's about 10 days worth of work. Yeah. It's on like a board, yeah. My name is Sasha and I'm an Oxfam school speaker and constituency campaigner. I've worked on the Grow campaign for a couple of months now and I think it's a really important campaign with Oxfam and the co-op championing the rights of small scale farmers around the world because they're the ones who produce the majority of the food that we eat and especially women farmers who do even more of that than their male counterparts. Um, I also think Grow campaign is really important to highlight the risk of climate change and the effect that that has on agriculture and small scale farms. So I'm hoping that at Rio Plus 20 we can really make sure that that is the highest priority on their agenda. I'm Stephanie, I'm a co-op member and I work with the Global Poverty Project. I'm involved because I just think in 2012 it's very unfair so many people go to bed hungry. It's a basic human right that we should have enough food for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we're, up, we're up to meet Nick Clegg now and present him with our artwork and hopefully he'll like it and he'll listen to our message. Um, 17 and a half thousand people we're representing now so we're going to go and see him now.